back, everyone. You are looking live at the Papal Mass at Madison Square Garden in New York City. It started at about 6.30. 20,000 people are attending this Mass. Now, the Pope is wearing green vestments which symbolize ordinary time in the Catholic Church. Now, one of the people instrumental in getting the Pope to come to Philadelphia is former Governor Tom Corbett. In March of 2014, Governor Corbett visited the Vatican with a delegation from Philadelphia. News 8 caught up with Corbett in Philly today. It is a special moment. For somebody growing up Catholic, you don't ever think you're going to get a chance to meet the Pope. Uh, and the first time you meet him, it's a really big deal, and I think it'll be equally uh, as big a deal now. You'll remember when the Corbetts visited the Pope, they brought with them letters written by students from Good Shepherd Elementary School in Camp Hill, Cumberland County. So whether you're going to Philadelphia or driving the area, you can expect to see more traffic on the roads. News 8's traffic anchor Danielle Woods has everything you need to know. The Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission says you could see the same amount of traffic on highways as you do on the day before Thanksgiving. On the Turnpike, expect more traffic east of the Morgantown Interchange, as well as on the Northeast Extension, south of the Lehigh Valley Interchange. Now, if you're going to Philly, here are the roads that will be closed as of 10 tonight. Naturally, that includes the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. Also, I-76 eastbound from I-476 to I-95, and I-76 westbound from I-95 to Route 1. We're also talking about I-676 in both directions from I-76 to I-95 and Route 1 northbound between I-76 and Lancaster Avenue and southbound between Belmont and Lancaster Avenues. I-95 will remain open with some ramps closed. Now in the area known as the Francis Festival Grounds, vehicle traffic restrictions started at 6 tonight. Private vehicles can travel in the grounds only if they are already inside, but cars cannot enter. You can see the restricted area border includes Spring Garden, Ridge, Gerard, the Schuylkill River, South Street, and Kelly Drive. Remember, the best way to keep on top of all traffic conditions is by downloading our WGAL app on your smartphone or tablet. Danielle Woods, News 8. Our News 8 Chronicle papal visit continues in just a moment. As we go to a break, we want to show you some of the pictures from the last time a pope visited Philadelphia. Pope John Paul II came in October of 1979. Philadelphia's Cardinal John Kroll was one of the pope's closest friends. When Pope John Paul was in Philly, he celebrated Mass in Logan Circle on the opposite end of the parkway from where Pope Francis will celebrate Mass. We'll be right back.